With the conversation lately around eating invasive blue catfish, USGS recommends check your local consumption advisories. Maryland's really pushing the use of blue catfish as food for some of the state institutions, and we just want to really make sure they're safe to eat. It's a messy job, but somebody's got to do it. The gills are pale, and testing for PFAS in the Chesapeake Bay fish is a dirty job. Right. It could Four mean times. that they have mm -hmm. anemia. Heather Walsh, a research fish biologist. Oh, look at all of it. From the U.S. Geological Survey and her team are happy to do. We have had PFAS analyzed from the plasma and that gives us a better understanding of the health impacts to the fish itself. The work giving Walsh a better understanding of fish and people. And it also gives us a relatable measure to human health, because a lot of times the plasma from humans is analyzed as opposed to other tissues, so it makes it more relatable that way. Forever chemicals have been linked to a host of health issues, including cancer. But for now, the USGS says you're good to go for a plate of your favorite comfort food. They do seem to be, at this point, safe for consumption um, and a good source of protein and nutrition. But not all the local fish get a passing grade. Some of the other species that we've tested, like smallmouth bass, that species of fish tends to have high levels of PFAS. Walsh says before you plate up a helping of invasive blue catfish, make sure you know if your fish is safe to consume by checking the Maryland Fish Consumption Advisory for your area.